In project calendars, you can define alternate work weeks that apply only to specific dates, as well as time off like holidays. To start working on the calendar, go to the Project tab and then click Change Working Time. That opens up the Change Working Time dialog box, and in the For Calendar box, we can see that the project calendar, Company Cal, is already selected. So we're going to make changes to this calendar. I'm going to start with an alternate work week. In the bottom half of the dialog box, click the Work Weeks tab. Then select the first blank name cell. Let's say that this alternate work week is for shorter weeks in the summer. So I'm going to call it summer. Then in the start cell, you specify when does this alternate work week start. So let's say it's June 15th, 2020. Then I can click the finish and say that's going to go until August 15th, 2020. Now that I have the dates in place, I'm going to click the Details button on the right side, and that opens up Details for Summer. Now, remember, our company calendar already has a really sweet schedule, and Friday is a non-working day. So let's say in the summer, it gets even better. Thursday is going to be a half day. In the Select Days list, I'm going to click Thursday, and then choose the option Set Days to These Specific Working Times. I'm going to make it a half day, and the easiest way to do that is to delete the second row of time, the 1 to 6. So I'm going to click anywhere in that row. Then, on the keyboard, I'm going to press the Delete key, and that deletes the entire row. Then, go ahead and click OK. Notice if I pick a Thursday in the calendar, the working times show up as 8 to 12. Now that we have our summer work week, let's head over to the Exceptions tab. I'm going to start by creating a holiday. So let's say it's Independence Day. In the first blank name cell, I'll type in the name for the holiday. Then I go over to the Start cell. Now I can click the down arrow to see the calendar, and here I'm looking at June 2020. So I'm going to click the blue arrow on the right to go to July, and notice that July 4th is on the weekend. So let's make this Monday after the weekend the holiday. So I click July 6th. Now I'm going to create another exception. This one will be for a longer period of time. In the first blank name cell, I'll type the name of the exception. So let's say it's maintenance. It's going to be done at the end of the year and everything shuts down while they work on the equipment in the company. So let's go to the start cell and suppose that it starts on December 21st, 2020. So I type in that date. Then I go to the finish cell and it ends on January 1st. 2021. And that's all I have to do because it's non-working time. So I can go ahead and click the next blank name cell. This last exception is going to be a recurring exception. That means it repeats. So for this, we're going to use a quarterly meeting. I'll type in the name of the exception. And then we can go to the start cell and we'll say that it starts on January 6th, 2020. At this point, I'm going to go to the right side and click Details. That opens up the Details for Quarterly Meeting. Initially, the non-working option is selected. If you decide to make it working time, then every day in the exception has to be the same. But in this case, we'll keep it as non-working. Next, we go down to the bottom half of this dialog box to Recurrence Pattern. Well, it's going to be monthly. And let's say that we want it to be the third Monday. So I select the second option on the right. Then in the box where it says First, I click the down arrow and choose Third. So now it's the third Monday. 
but it's going to be quarterly, so I want it to be every three months. Then what you do in the end after, specify the number of occurrences that you want. Let's say it's 12. When I do that, project will calculate what the finish date is. So when I click OK, that gets filled in in the finish date for the exception. At this point, we have our alternate work week for the summer and three exceptions. So I'm going to click OK to close change working time. With calendar exceptions and additional work weeks, you can set up holidays, other non-working time, and special work weeks that apply to specific dates.